Western producers Omega Force's Attack on Titan is certainly the game that fans have been waiting for. It delivers so much of what fans love about the show and really does a great job of putting you right into the action. While there are some glitches and it could be repetitive for some, Wings of Freedom is a respectful and accurate adaptation of the manga anime created by Hajime Isayama. Okay, let's do a quick little rundown, okay? The game was first released in Japan in 2016, or February 2016, for the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4, and the PlayStation Vita. Koei Tecmo, who is the Japanese producer of the game, said that they will have a North American release in August 2016, which brings us up to this date. Steam has officially released the game on the 26th of August 2016. With that said, the story of the game closely follows three major characters who basically survived the destruction of their walled city district by enormous man-eating titans. Now the titans you saw at the start of the video and they will eventually go on into the scout regiment to protect humanity from this overwhelming force. So that's the story in a nutshell. So basically, the game has two basic modes. It has the attack mode, which is the full storyline of Attack on Titan Season 1. And then you have the expedition mode, where you can play with multiple people online or offline. And of course, we have other various options like gallery options and stuff like that. The things that we're not really interested in. What I'll be focusing on next is the expedition mode, which will basically give you the opportunity to play these set missions to kill Pacific Titans and to complete certain tasks which will give you some equipment that is not found in the rest of the game so it's pretty well laid out and of course you can choose different characters of the three major characters that are in the game i think i might go with the girl because um, she is if you ever watch attack the dragon she is the, is the strongest one as you can see her stats are the best so let's check it out right now first things first um if you press a well a on my xbox controller will you will definitely do a dash jump and then all of the grappling is basically automatic but there's still an element of physics in it you need to sort of angle yourself with the analog stick to get to the right position okay so right now <laughs> check out this titan here and i'm gonna try to see if i get the right angle you see the tree is blocking me and i'm gonna come right into the kill fatality <laughs> That was actually pretty awesome. I actually got it in one hit. The other component is the killing of the titans, of course, which again manages a nice little balance between skill and mastery, okay? Put it simple, you need to look at a body part on the titan. You need to target it, be it the legs, be it the arms, or be it in the back of the neck, in the nape. Of course, that's the killing blow you need to angle yourself in the right position and it is determined by your speed so in other words each one of these body parts have a certain hit point and depending on the speed and angle you come in it will definitely have a certain amount of damage being done so all that said 
it's pretty complicated but after a while you get used to it okay and of course with the bigger titans you need to be more aware because these guys are fast and when they hold on to you you have to smash the button to break free but if you if you don't time it well you smash the button and you come on you try to heal and he grabs you again you're definitely dead so out of 10 i will definitely give this game an 8. you cannot get a full 10 because of the monotony of the fights but if you are a manga anime fan like me you pretty much will enjoy doing it over and over and trying different angles to try and achieve the objective of bringing on the titans the sound is pretty well done it keeps it the theme of the attack on titans um, manga series and uh, sorry anime series and also the graphics are well done it looks pretty cartoonish and pretty anime-ish so that is also well done the controls are i will have to say the best thing in this game because i play with an xbox one controller that is linked to a dongle on my pc and i feel all the vibrations when the titans are coming up to you so you feel that anticipation that action is about to happen and also this the sort of slinging in the air and you actually feel the controller vibrating when you move faster that is probably the best aspect of this game and i totally enjoyed it from a control perspective so all in all it's a great game if you're an anime fan you need to check this out so if you like what you saw check us out on facebook and give us a like or check us out on youtube and subscribe to us and of course if you have any comments don't forget to post it right below and we'll check it out later so this is maximus and catalyst for the brothers of steel we're out Ma da kiki wa dashite nai zo!